Hey, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Jones, 84, and today, people, I wanted to talk about Call of Duty Modern Warfare of 2019. If you guys have not played the Alpha yet, the 2 vs. 2, make sure you check it out today because it's gonna be gone by tomorrow. I think it's gone by Monday, so if you never tried this thing out, you never know how Call of Duty is gonna be because right now, I'm telling you, it is quite different from the previous Call of Duties. It makes like Black Ops 4 look like an arcade game from Pizza Hut. That's how different it is. This game, I'm telling you, it's very different. Like, the weapons feel more realistic. The recoil is there, like, for reals. It's not, like, 100%, like, no, it's not, like, oh, maybe it is because it's a LMG. Like, no, it's on all the freaking guns, even the SMGs themselves. Like, the recoil is there. You can feel the impact coming from the gun. Like, it's just so amazing. The last time I feel like such realism into a first person shooter was like Rainbow Six Siege and Battlefield 4. So now coming into Call of Duty, it just makes it feel more realistic, which is a good direction towards the franchise. Because if they were just going to release another arcade shooter, you know, like the Modern Warfare series, it was just going to be another Call of Duty. But this time it's not just another Call of Duty. It's a Call of Duty game where realism comes into play. If you don't watch that recoil, if you don't learn the patterns, you're pretty much screwed. So, if you watch the game from the background, you should see how different it is and how, like, I'm holding back the automatic shots because if you just keep on going, those guns are just going to be shooting up all the goddamn time. It's like, it's difficult to control, but you'll learn along the way. So, and also the graphics look amazing in this game. The shading looks all right. It looks very well done. This looks like they actually did put their time and effort into this game compared to the previous CODs, which is just the copy and paste propaganda. So, this time it's just very amazing. It looks very, very real. And I'm just like, the whole way I'm like, yes, this is the game that I needed over the years. So, one thing that I do have complaint on is the pistol called the M19. Now, that pistol just plain sucks. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. That gun just seriously sucks. He's jumping. This is not freaking black up. Get up. pistol chaffa, seriously. What? You gotta be kidding me, I shot him five times. That's what that gun is. It's just a total trash of a pistol. And that's probably the only complaint about I got about this game. That gun is a little bit of a buff, but the re the rest of the guns just, just feel so different from each other. They all have their own recoil. They all have their own shooting patterns. They look realistic. And the iron sights work pretty well with those guns. It's just very well done. So um, I'm glad we're not getting like some specialists where it just changes the types of the game with you know the EMPs and you know uh, magic walls the the microwave walls or whatever barbed wire like I'm glad it's mostly you know gunfights which is good and I know and I know this is just 2v2 we still need to see more kill streaks of how they they work and you know we got to see more gameplay about this game and I want I can't wait to play the the beta next month which comes out in September and because I want to see how 10 versus 10 works, 6 versus 6, uh, 20 versus 20. I'm not sure how many modes they have, but I want to try them out, especially in this type of in this type of style. Like it's just so different. So um, I know what people are gonna say, Joe. To me, it looks the same. No, it doesn't play the same though. That's one thing you gotta learn. It does not play the same at all. I've been playing Call of Duty since Black Ops 4, and I'm telling you, this Call of Duty is just so different, very different. You play Call of Duty World War II, and you tell me there's any kind of recoil going on with some of the SMGs. It's so pathetic. This game is just, it has it. it it's there. So I did have like a lots of fun with this game over the past few days and, you know, since it came out. Um, also, I did live stream my first two matches, and it came out pretty well, too. Uh, there were some good fun moments with my brother. Pretty much, we were trying to communicate and take out the enemy. You know, it was just total fun. I thought... Let me say, he's go, 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 keep going, keep going. Wait, that, that guy's still Oh, he ran into my claymore. Oh, <laughs> he ran into it, boom. Good shot. Come back. If you guys are not aware yet, there is no mini map, even for the standard modes. I know there's no mini map for the hardcore modes, but for the standard modes, there is still no mini map confirmed. So that's kind of crazy. It changes the tides of the game, but I guess so. I guess we're going to play like that. And 
it's going to be really tough because it's going to be a camper's paradise and just people are just going to camp in the corner and just stay there forever like the camping for kill streaks it's going to happen a lot but i'm ready to deal with it because i've dealt with so much bs over the years in call of duty that i'm just like bs proof at this point i just don't care anymore i just move on to another game then i recommend it uh to download it right now and try it yourself because you're gonna be like wow this game is just totally freaking different it's like rainbow six siege on, on crack except the the weapons do keep their realism though they, they actually do keep their realism and the recoil and also you can lean towards the left you can th also throw a flashbang while reloading i'm not sure how is that possible but you'll see like in the background gameplay a few times uh but like yeah there's a lot of things that that change and it keeps the flow of the game pretty much well done so that's what i like and um i'm telling you if i were to give a review of this two versus two alpha stage uh, i'll just give it an eight out of ten it's good. It's good overall. It's a good, good game. It's just that my only complaints are still the connection, which I am delayed by 0.5 seconds. You can see it sometimes on my death camps that I'm delayed by 0.5 seconds, which is a big deal because you have to pre-fire or install quick draw on all your weapons just to keep up with the speed of the game. Because this is just one thing that I do have complaints about the Infinity Ward games. They actually do have me delayed in every single one of their games by 0.5 seconds or even for a full second. And I've noticed it and I'm like, well, this is going to be a big problem, but I'm ready to deal with it since I'm mostly, you know, already converted to long range combat instead of short range combat. So we'll see once the full game comes out. We'll see what complaints and what review comes up next for this game. So that's it guys, if you guys want to see more Call of Duty stuff or any other kind of content, make sure you subscribe for more because there's more stuff coming up. So see you guys later.